First off, you can't get one up on me. Mom's dropped me off. She ain't know I had my gun on me. You did the least, but still expect to get some type of glory. I used to try to compete in the streets and damn near 40. Bitch, don't come for me like I sent for you. But ain't doing shit to them same niggas that clicked on you. I got problems with niggas who ain't got no morals related to the guys that can't open and close portals. Uh, flow fire, but the soul ether. They want me dead. I'm in the party with the Grim Reaper. My shorty bugging, I think I'm a lever. Simple conversations with bitches, how I become a cheater. I stand for what I stand on and execute anything I plan on. It don't see nothing going wrong. I'm about to make the water bubble, niggas lukewarm. The devil still run around my earth, how could I stay calm? Yo, I haven't told y'all story in a hot ass minute. So I did upload this video about me telling you a story about something crazy happened yesterday on, on Monday. I guess it's today is Wednesday. But due to our technical difficulties, uh, I just look at the video and and uh, the like the ending parts are are cut out for no reason. So I had to had no choice but to re-upload my my story. So this is a so this is also a re-upload. So my bad on that. So. Y'all see the title? This shit is gonna, it's gonna, uh, this shit has already happened on Monday. So let's, let's start it with this shit, shall we? <clears throat> so, the, so on Sunday, I was wa watching TV on Sunday night. You feel me? I was watching TV like I normally do. And uh, my uncle texted me and said, "Yo, man, I'm going to the West Bank Heritage Festival. If you don't know what that is, it's like a music festival, so you can." You could relax, grab a chair, eat some food, and li listen to and um, the music will be live on stage. You feel me? So, so anyway, my uncle texted me like, "Yo, man, I'm going to the West Bank Harris Festival. You want to come? Your cousin Alicia is coming. You want to come?" And I said, "Fuck well, yeah! I got nothing to do on Monday anyway. Oh, I, I always do on Mondays. Like every week, is play video games and watch movies every week." So I decided, you know what? I need to get out of the house. I need to get out of the house for an hour or so, like a few hours or so. So I decided, so I texted him, fuck yeah, I want to go. And he said, all right, we'll be there at 12. So, so yeah. Next day comes, Monday, it was, I was amped. I, uh, I was amped, you feel me? I was, I was thinking about, like, get all the ladies and all that. I'll be looking swagged out, get all the ladies. This shit's gonna be crazy. So I was dressed up, looking like a swag, you feel me? Looking like a straight thug, you feel me? Well, not really a thug, but I dressed up like, you know, I won't normally dress up in like videos, in my videos, like, with my bad dinner on, you feel me? Wearing all swagged out, you feel me? So, so anyway, <clears throat> so uh, my uncle, uh, my uncle picked me up. He was pulling over. We just talked like, like black people talk, you feel me? We just do like. Yeah, like black people talk, you feel me? So, um, we just drive there, and, um, yeah. And, uh, we just got our parking space and all that. We got our chairs and all that. And, uh, I never been to a West Bank, a West Bank Heritage Festival in my life. I never been there before, but as my first time, I didn't even expect it. It's gonna be as dope. You feel me? I mean, they got food there. They got crazy shit there and all that. Like, holy fuck, man. I mean, they had some seafood. I, you know, uh, if you don't know this, this Sam Squad, I don't eat seafood and all that. I just, they had some fried chicken there. I decided to give me some fried chicken. I ate me some chicken tenders, you feel me? The chicken tenders is not bad. It, it's really tasty, you feel me? So, uh, at the at the end like uh, there's a parking lot right next to the parking lot they had like a little video game truck like they have like not the xbox not the, not the new xbox not the p5 they got like old school video games consoles like nintendo wii xbox 360 and the xbox one and i decided you know what i want to go there and take a look so i did i did take a look and uh they're playing uh one of my favorite old school games when i was like six years old guess what it is take a guess yep Mario Kart Wii, my second fa second favorite Mario game. You feel me? I haven't played Mario Kart Wii ever since I was like six years six years old. You feel me? So I decided, you know what? 
I want to test out my skills. I want to see if I still got it. I don't know, for the last uh, 21 years, you feel me? So I did. I played a game for a little bit. I, I was a little rusty. I was like, I don't know what I was doing because it's been a while. You feel me? So uh, I tested out the game. I played as Luigi. Play as Luigi, definitely. I thought I was gonna be playing as Yoshi, but I'm decided to play as Luigi. So uh, I play as Luigi. Did test out my skills, and uh, I did pretty good. I got like fourth place. Not bad. It's not bad. You feel me? Still a little rusty, but I still got it. So after that, I did run race, run race, and then I head back to the head, head back to the concert area. So I, I just sit down, me and my uncle just talk, you feel me, just relaxing and all that. I decided, and I decided to get up and see what they have over here. So uh, my my uncle convinced me to try, try out the New Orleans. Uh, I think it's called like the Kiri. Yeah, the Kiri. If you don't know what it is, it's like the the frozen stuff mixed with alcohol. So I decided, you know what, I want to give this shit a try, you feel me? So I did did that, I ordered me a Blue Hurricane. If you don't know, if you don't know what it is, it's strong as fuck. So I decided to take it to another level. I ordered me a Blue Hurricane, and it was not as bad as I thought it would be. First time drinking alcohol and shit. Holy fuck, it was strong as fuck. But, but I drank it anyway. I drank the whole thing. Cause it's, it's about to get lit in this in this bitch. You feel me? So uh, so yeah, my my own. So yeah, we did that. I just sit down, looking listening to some concert. They played like jazz and some rap and all that. They played some. Yeah, they played some pretty good music and all that. And uh. <clears throat> After after like few hours go by, uh, I just decided to get up and get me another drink, which is called frozen lemonade. It was not as bad like I thought it would be either. It was not as bad. So I drink that and it was not as bad. Okay, okay, that. Uh, so uh, and another few hours go by, I decided to get up and go take a stroll and uh, see what else, what else they had and you, I already know they had nothing so but but I but there's something crazy happened you feel me the late the news reporter from WDSU appeared from out of nowhere I said wait what so I look at her again I was like oh shit that's from the WDSU you, you lady so I decided to say Say, say, I, I was like, you know what? I'll say what's up to her. Why the fuck not? That's one of WDSU, lady. Why the fuck not? So uh, I went up there and say, yo, what's up? How you doing? She said, I'm doing good too. I'm doing good too. She said, uh, <clears throat> she said, she told me you have a good time and all that. And uh, I, I, we just talked like a few minutes on all that. And uh, she's going back to do her own thing. I, I decided, I asked her, like, yo, if you, I told her, like, yo, if you need me on TV, just let me know. They said, she said, I right, I got you. But I didn't get a chance to be on TV. I thought I didn't get a chance to be on TV. Just ran up. And uh, when I take a walk over there, just as my luck. Another chick, another news chick from the, from the, from Fox A. Appeared from out of nowhere as well. And then I look at the mic. I say, "Oh shit, it's Fox A. Maybe I'll ask her to be be on my be on my TV. No way. Be on. Maybe I can ask her to ask her to get, Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My bad. Maybe I can ask her to be. I got John be on TV. And uh, I did. She talking to a few black chicks. And then uh, and then she's done. She's talking to me, and I was like, "Yo, man. I mean, yo, what's up?" She said, "How you doing?" I, her name is Caitlin Ross. She is a very nice news news lady, lady, and she's very very pretty too. You feel me? She is very pretty. And uh, I told her like, "Yo, if you need me on TV, just let me know." And she said, "You know what she said? She said, oh, we got you. Let's do this shit right now.'" And I said, "Oh." Yeah, it's off. Yeah, fucking off. I was amped. I was fucking amped. In my mind, in my mind, I was like, I was wait, hey, shit. I was like, yo, man, this is about to be crazy. I'm a bitch. Get all the, get all the fans in this bitch. All the drag clans will get me along, and I got random shit on my mind. And uh, she, 
and uh, we, we were looking for the cameraman. The cameraman's not that far. She, he was doing something else. And, uh, yeah, we just talked. We just, um, do the interview, and, uh, so that's it. If, if y'all hate this and didn't believe me, be like, I know y'all hate this. gonna be it. You say in the comments. Gonna be saying, <clears throat> gonna be saying shit in the comments. Who's with me on TV? He teaches us for the attention. Well, watch this. First time. First time. So what do you think about it for the first time? Off the chain. Yeah, off the chain. Yeah. Yeah. Now you believe me, hater. Oh, he do oh, he's doing it for attention. No, I didn't. I just do it for fun. I just do it to be on the news for fun. And actually, actually, before I got the interview, I took a selfie with Caitlin Ross. If you don't believe me, here's another photo. Yeah, I showed you the photo. Now you, now you believe me now? Ah, you believe me? You know who else didn't believe me? My uncle. I showed him the picture. And he was shook. He was mad shook, you feel me? So, I, my cousin was here. I know that my cousin Alicia was here. I show her my picture. I think I show her my no. I I told her no. Matter of fact, I told my my uncle tell Alicia I'm gonna be on the news. And uh, they did. They my uncle did believe me a little bit. And then a few hours later, my uncle got drunk. I mean, very very fucking drunk. Thank God, cause my cousin Alicia was here. So if she wasn't, I'll be mad as fuck. If I'll be acting, acting no. if if my my cousin Alicia wasn't here, my uncle would be mad drunk while he, while he's driving. And I decided if and uh, yeah, whatever. So I'll be mad as fuck. And I said, you know what? You drive. I'm calling my parents to pick me up. You're too drunk right now. You feel me? But thank God Alicia was here. She was driving me home and all that. And but but before with all of that, I had to dance with the black chick. I would start dancing with the black chick. Here's the reason why. The black chick was, was right there next to me. She started dancing and I decided to do, do Beauty and the Beast. You know, if you didn't see that movie, you don't know shit about Disney. Feel me? I did so I decided to in my mind and told me Rattlesnake there's a black chick over there do the beauty and the beast so I did I grabbed her hand and we started dancing we I didn't break dance I I didn't do no crazy shit like break dance and all that I ain't do that because there's so many crowd over there jamming up there's too many crowds too crowded for me to do break dance but there's a if there's an open space, then hell yeah, I'll do it. I'll break dance. You feel me? So, so yeah. <clears throat> We did dancing. I did a little robot and all that. I did a little robot and all that. And then I had fun. Then we decided to go home. My cousin told me she, if I'm ready and all that, I said, yeah, let's go home. I'm tired as fuck. And then, um, and then, um, yeah, my uncle was drunk. My cousin Alicia was driving my uncle's car. And uh, she dropped me off. And uh, I told my family I'm going to be on the news at 9 p.m. And uh, guess what? I'm on it. Everyone in my family was proud of me, including my mom and my father, my grandmother, my uncle, and all that were proud of me for me being on TV. And uh, I had a good ass time. Am I coming back next year? Fuck yeah, I'm coming back next year. This time, if I do come back next year, I'm bringing my mother. I'm definitely uh, bringing my mother into this because she needs to have fun as well. So yeah, I don't think there's a moral of this story to this. Uh, I don't think there's no, no more more to the story. So anyway, that's all I need to say. That's all the stories I had. Oh yeah, I did take a picture of the WDSU lady as well. She is very nice as well. But I, like I said, I didn't do the interview with the WDSU. So anyway, that's all I need to say. 
I'm out. Sorry for the delay from last from yesterday due to tech technical difficulties. But this is like this is like retold. So uh, thank you guys so much so much for watching and have a good night. Oh yeah, I told Kate Ross my name is Black Dragon. Like and uh, I told her where I got my name Black Dragon from and uh, so yeah that's it that's all I need to say and I told the WDSU I, I uh, my name is Black Dragon